in this video, I will show you how to track form submissions if the visitor is redirected to a thank you page. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania YouTube channel where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. And if you want to stay up to date with Google Tag Manager, consider subscribing. There are various types of forms on the internet and different forms require different tracking methods. In today's video, we will focus on one particular type when a form redirects a visitor to the confirmation page after the form was successfully submitted. That page is also known as the thank you page. Also, at the end of this video, I will share some additional tips if you want to go advanced. Let's take a look. Here I have some demo form and let's take a look how it works. But before we do that, first we have to enable the preview mode of Google Tag Manager because then we will check what kind of data do we have in the preview mode. So first I click the preview button right here and here I should enter the URL of the page with that sample form right here. Click connect. Then in a new tab or a new window, a page with that form will appear. And you should see that this is connected right here and right here. Now let's fill in this form and then click sent. The page quickly reloaded. I see a success message and I see some additional parameter in the URL, which says contact posted equals true. So if after the form submission, a visitor is redirected to another page or the URL changes a bit and some part of the URL tells us that the form was submitted successfully, it means that you can track form submissions with the help of a thank you page. Because in other words, thank you page is a page of successful form submission. However, don't celebrate too soon because we still have to make sure that this parameter is available only when the form was successfully submitted. So now we have to submit the form with some error and check if this parameter is present or not. So let me quickly once again go to that initial form page and then let's say that I will keep all the fields as they are. I will click send. Now I have some challenge and I need to prove that I am not a robot. Then click verify and click submit. And now I see the error message and let's check the URL. Can we see that contact posted equals true? Looks like not. We have some other parameter added to the URL. But keep in mind that this kind of URL applies to my example. In your case, the URL might be different. All you need to remember right now is that you have to check whether the URL of your thank you page is unique enough that you can use it as a condition to fire a tag. Because right now we are going to use the page URL of that thank you page in our trigger. So now I will go to Google Tag Manager, Triggers, and we will create a new trigger that will be used to fire an event to Google Analytics 4. And we can do that by going to Triggers, New, then click anywhere on Trigger Configuration, and then select Page View. Here we are interested not in all page views, but only in some page views, and only in those page views where page URL contains contact posted equals true. Now you might be tempted to use page path in this case. And let me tell you why in my case, this is not a good idea. Let's go to that form page and I will submit it once again. So here I am on the form page and I will enter some information and submit the form. Click send. Now I will have to prove that I am not a robot once again and click submit. And here is the URL of my thank you page. Now let's go to the preview mode of Google Tag Manager and click the container loaded event because this is the page view event. Click it and let's go to the variables tab. Here you will see that the page URL contains that URL parameter because URL parameters are displayed after a question mark. So question mark and then contact posted equals true. However, page path only shows that part of the URL that goes after the domain, but before all the parameters. So page path, which is here equals to this part. So in my case, only page URL contains that parameter, which allows me to distinguish that this was a successful form submission. Maybe in your case, the URL of a thank you page will contain something that is available in the page path. So keep an eye on that. Anyway, in my case, I'm using page URL because this is the only page related variable that contains this value. And then let's name this trigger and then click save. Now let's create a Google Analytics 4 event tag that will send this form submission event. So click tags, click new. By the way, in this tutorial, I presume that you already have installed the basic setup of Google Analytics 4. And that means that you have the GA4 configuration tag. If you don't have it yet, then check the description of this video because there I have shared my tutorial on how to install Google Analytics 4 with Google Tag Manager. Anyway, let's click new tag configuration, and then GA4 event tag. Then select your existing Google Analytics 4 configuration tag. This event tag will take the measurement ID of your property that is stored in the configuration tag. 
Now let's name this event. Google Analytics 4 has a list of recommended event names and for form submissions, Google recommends to use the generate lead event. Although you're not required to do that, but maybe in the future, this will be used by machine learning capabilities of Google Analytics 4. And then if you have just one form on a website, that's it for the configuration. If you have, let's say multiple forms, then you could try to enter some additional parameters right here. But in my case, let's say that I have just one form with one thank you page. So then let's go to the triggering section, click anywhere, and then choose that previously created page view trigger of the thank you page. And finally, let's name this tag. I usually name them like this, GA4 event and generate lead. And let's say contact form or something like that, because this is the contact form. Click save and let's test whether this is working properly. So click preview button to refresh the preview mode. And then let's submit the form once again, click send. Then I will again complete the challenge, click submit. And here's my thank you page. This is the URL. We have contact posted equals true. Now let's go to the preview mode and on the latest page load, which is right here, I should click container loaded because all page view triggers in Google Tag Manager are related to the container loaded event. And here we see that my generate lead event has fired. Now let's go to the Google Analytics 4 and then keep looking for the debug view. Keep in mind that Google Analytics 4 is constantly developed and it is constantly changed. So maybe in the future, the location of the debug view will change, but nevertheless, it is somewhere and on the sidebar. So you should keep looking for it if you cannot see it as I do right here. So I will click it. This view is designed to debug the incoming data. And here I can see my device and here is my generate lead event. I will click it. And then here we will see some automatically tracked events. One of them is page location, page title, and so on. By the way, on some websites, it is possible that you have multiple forms, but there's only one thank you page. And all of those forms redirect the visitors to the same URL. So if that is your case, then below the video, you will find a link to my blog post where I explain what to do when you have many forms and one thank you page and how to distinguish them. Because in this case, I bet that you would like to know from which exact form did the successful submission come. So this is how you can implement thank you page tracking with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4. However, there is an alternative approach where Google Tag Manager is not needed and you can avoid this kind of configuration. Personally, I prefer tracking thank you pages with Google Tag Manager, but if you don't, then take a look right here. Let's go to Google Analytics and then on the sidebar, let's go to events, then click create event. Create event is a feature set that allows you to create new events from the Google Analytics 4 interface. And that new event will be based on some other incoming event. So for example, in this case, every time a page loads, we activate the GE4 configuration tag and that tag sends the page view. Actually, you can take a quick look and in the debug view, you will see that we are also sending page view events. So what we could do is that we can configure Google Analytics 4 to keep looking for page view events where page location contains this part. And then Google Analytics 4 can be configured to automatically create a new event, which will be called, let's say, thank you page submission or something like that. So let's go to Google Analytics, then events, create event, and then create new rule. Here we have to enter the name for our new event when the visitor will land on a thank you page. So that can be, let's say, thank you page or something like that, or maybe contact thing you page. And then here we have to enter certain conditions when this event should be dispatched by Google Analytics 4. So in other words, if the event name equals to page view, so it means that when Google Analytics 4 receives the event page view, but not any page view, we are interested only in those page views where page location contains this part, because we know that this is the part of the thank you page and this contact posted equals true is not used on any other page of the website. So when Google Analytics receives this event and URL contains this, then this event will be automatically created in Google Analytics 4. And this event will have all the parameters that this page view had. And this is possible because this checkbox is enabled. Now let's click create. So let's close this, then let's go to the debug view and let's check everything once again. So I will now go to this thank you page and just for sake of time saving, I will just refresh this page without submitting it because if the page is refreshed, then we will send the page view event with this part in the URL. So let's refresh it and then let's go to the 
analytics debug view. And here I see some events. One of them is generate lead that we have already configured. Then this is the page view event, which was tracked by the configuration tag. And here is that event that was automatically generated by GA4 because we have configured that condition. And if I click it, you will see all the parameters that were also available in that previous page view event. So if you ask me what should you use, whether you should create an admin or whether you should use that create event feature. Personally, I like Google Tag Manager because I want to have all of my configuration in a single place rather than, you know, having some events in Google Tag Manager and some events in Google Analytics configured because then the maintenance will become a bit more difficult, especially for someone who will maybe later in the future will overtake your project from you because maybe you will you know change a company or something else. Oh, and one last thing. So if you want to mark those events as conversions, and I'm talking about that contact thank you page or the generate lead event, you can then go to conversions on the sidebar of Google Analytics and then new conversion and then enter both event names right here if you decided to go with both events. So in my case, that will be generate lead, then click save. And then I should enter one more event, which is thank you page submission or something like that. I actually forgot that event is contact thank you page. All right, so let's go to conversions, new conversion event and contact thank you page. And yeah, that's it. And that is how you can track thank you pages with Google Tag Manager. In other situations, you might deal with multiple forms that redirect visitors to the same thank you page with the same URL. If that is your case, then below this video, you will find a link to a blog post that explains what to do next. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.